Beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. Okay, so I am doing this reading for a group of people in our collective here, and as I always say, this will not be for everyone, so only take it as it connects, if it connects with you personally. But the energy I'm getting from this situation is that there's been some kind of an ongoing situationship for lack of a better term. I was so late to that term. I heard another reader use it about a year or two ago, and it just feels like the perfect way to describe so many of these very intense spiritual, ritual connections and how they play out in the physical. There's really no other way to describe something that is this indescribable bond that you just feel with this other person that transcends words, that transcends labels, and yet it's just there. It's this elephant in the room kind of thing. And that is what I'm getting between you, which I feel you will be a feminine energy listening and this person who I feel is a masculine, yeah, anxiety in the upright position. So I feel that this person, this masculine is feeling angsty about this connection for lack of a better term i'm not sure if anxiety is the right word he's just feeling this restlessness this feeling of angst and i actually feel this is being transferred to you unconsciously energetically feminine and you may also be feeling restless for no reason be feeling low energy or kind of stagnant or stuck for no reason I'm hearing we always keep each other stuck. This is so interesting. So I feel that you and this person have this situationship that has spanned over months or years in the physical world, but I'm saying that because at the soul level, it never really started and it never really ended. It just got activated. Yeah, there's this ongoing push and pull between you and this person. I'm hearing a tug of war almost between your souls that has kept you both stagnant in love. I get the feeling that during your course of time connecting, you and this person may have both either tried to or actually did date other people, but I'm hearing this person say they were nothing compared to you. The labels don't even really matter here. And I feel that if you, feminine, were being completely honest, you would say that this person has been your dominant soul connection. Meaning that even though you've connected with other people, other energies in your life, you may even be connected with someone at this moment in a even a happy long-term relationship that won't be for everyone. But for some, you feel this level of happiness and security in some kind of relationship. But regardless, this person, this other soul is always just there. They are always just there. I'm hearing they sparked something within you. You see something in each other spiritually that no one else has ever been able to see to this degree. Your souls just get each other. However, the message that was coming through that makes this so confusing is your souls fit, but your lives don't. It's like you are the perfect match in many ways on a soul level, but with happy family reversed, it's this feeling of it's like, why are we constantly longing for each other, waiting for each other, hoping for each other, keeping us stuck mutually in this cycle of pain and heartbreak when things never seem to quite materialize between us? With happy family in the reverse, this often indicates a reunion, feeling like it's not happening. I'm hearing like it just isn't working. Every time we try to make this work, it just feels like it isn't working. man holding a coin uprights 
I hear a feminine saying, I went sword what was stable and what was real. So this could indicate a feminine literally choosing to move on romantically with some other masculine energy, or this could simply speak to her really empowering herself becoming more independent and actively trying to let this soul connection go or let it be a thing of the past in the physical world. But the thing is, this person has felt that shift within you, feminine. And a term that kept coming through was a silent agreement, an unspoken agreement. For whatever reason, I feel like you and this person had some kind of unspoken mutual agreements that the bond that you had together would just be this like transcendent thing that even if you never labeled it, even if neither of you ever acted on it, it would just always be there. It would always be there and you both would have this shared recognition that whoever you dated or moved on to you would always have this love for this person, for one another. This is such a complex energy because again, this was a silent agreement I feel that you had with this person. But I feel that this masculine feels as though you feminine broke this unspoken, I wanted to say vow because it feels like a promise. This unspoken agreement that you would just keep each other stuck in this limbo space that neither of you would ever fully move on and that you would always just, again, kind of remain in limbo here with this person. I'm hearing like stuck in hell with you. So although that sounds very intense, I feel like the two of you together, you have this powerful soul bond and yet you've created personal hell for each other from time to time through the course of your connection. I'm hearing that this heartbreak has been mutual. I feel that in the past or over the course of your connection, there has been mutual heartbreak where you've broken each other's hearts, but also you've loved each other more deeply and more profoundly than perhaps anyone else that you've ever known or loved. With envy in the upright position, I feel that... Wow, okay, I just... I felt this wave of energy through my heart chakra Oh my gosh. So there is this feeling that a piece of your heart feminine is missing to this masculine. Wow. I'm getting chills all over. Like also if you feminine are connecting with someone new, I'm hearing this won't be for everyone, but if you're connecting with a new masculine who is some kind of romantic soulmates, or there's something very stable, very lasting, very committed, like loyal, I'm getting like golden retriever kind of a loyalty energy from this other masculine. This won't be for everyone, but for whoever this is for, this other masculine on an unconscious soul level is kind of aware of that wow, very intense messages. He's kind of aware that a piece of your heart, feminine, is missing to someone else. And yet he's so loyal to you that he's willing to be a stabilizing force for you at the soul level. I'm not saying he's fully consciously aware of this, but it's like your souls have an agreement where this, this different masculine, this new masculine came in to help you, to stabilize you, to provide that consistency and 3D supports that you weren't getting from this other very powerful and intense soul bond that's coming up in this reading. And I feel that you really appreciate whoever this is for. I feel like I'm just speaking to a few people here. I hope this message reaches you. Leave it if it doesn't resonate, but this other masculine who's very stable, very calm, very, I'm hearing peaceful, a gentle soul, loyal, supportive. I feel that you've gone towards this masculine or leaned into this connection or chosen this connection consciously, but there's this feeling of having made a choice consciously that some part of your hearts or some part of your soul is still in disagreement with. Now, of course, I'm not saying that if this is you, you've made the wrong choice. Not at all, because I feel that you have a beautiful connection with this other person in your life. And this may very well be a connection that you want to consciously pursue that supports you, that provides you with a sense of, I'm hearing, safety, security, that's very loyal and warm and familiar. But I hear a feminine saying, 
but it's not him. And even though I choose to move on consciously, I see your heart like this puzzle that has all of the pieces except the one in the center. There is this one piece missing. And this other masculine who came through at the beginning, this one you share this soul bond with, is refusing to give up that last piece of your hearts, which is why you find yourself which is why you find yourself still feeling at times a little empty or a little unfulfilled. It's like, I feel this feminine saying, I am so happy either with my life or potentially again, there could be this other masculine that you're very happy with. But there's this feeling of, I know that there's a piece of me missing. It's a piece of me that's only you have seen that I feel only you will ever see and you're still holding on to that piece of me and it's so frustrating because there's this energy of like give it back like give back that piece of me that you stole that piece of my heart that you're holding in your hands because I can't take it back I see almost this frantic energy around this feminine because she doesn't want this situation emotionally to distract her, to bombard her, to blow up in some kind of a way. And above all, I feel that this feminine really doesn't want to hurt this. If there is another masculine in the picture or another masculine coming in or that she's calling into her life, she wants this to be a happy, secure, long-term, stable, committed relationship. And she doesn't want to cause any pain to any other parties involved here she wants to i'm hearing if i move on part of why okay so i feel this feminine part of why she may have not moved on for so long i'm hearing not fully settled down with someone else or felt settled with someone else is because she was waiting for this other masculine to give back that piece of herself that he still has but the thing is i feel that the number 18 is coming out for someone I feel that at some point she's realized that he's never going to give this piece of her back. I'm hearing this is such an abstract reading. This is such a like higher self reading, but I do hope this connects with someone in a meaningful way. But I feel this masculine like holding that piece of your heart like it's some kind of precious keepsake, like keeping a box in your closet with your most precious prized possessions and I feel that's how this masculine keeps and guards that piece of you that he's not giving back and healer of the ages in the midway position here interesting can I get some clarification for this card fifth chakra in the reverse position no communication so you may not be communicating in the 3d with this person or there may have just been frustration in the past around communication with this person and of course the yin yang card in the upright position this is the number one twin flame card in this deck so although this person isn't necessarily a twin flame. Of course, only you could know that for you, but this can be a strong indication of a twin flame connection. And the fact this card is upright tells me that you and this person, I'm hearing the channels of communication energetically are very, very open between you and this person psychically, telepathically. For some reason, I keep seeing someone at like a shooting range or something. So that might be relevant for someone. I also see someone wearing a hat on backwards and a black jacket. So let me know if that connects with anyone. Also someone wearing headphones, black headphones. So this could be someone involved in doing something with audio or music or something along those lines. Yeah, so I have to tell you, for some of you, this will be a twin flame connection and it will connect with you that way. With sacral chakra reverse though, I see it's like, Interesting. I want to get more information actually before I channel on this. So what is this sacral chakra energy coming up here? Since this might be a twin flame for some, I do. I'm getting something about a trumpet, by the way, for a person. But anyway, I do want to pull a few more cards from the twin flames and separation deck to see what this person wants to say. So 
Okay, what does this masculine want to say to the feminine here? I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. Interesting. Some of you might know how that connects with you personally. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's this energy of this person waiting and waiting and waiting, not moving forward. And the feminine here, giving them time and space and also just waiting. It's like two people keeping each other in a waiting room. And finally, the feminine here, I feel, just got up and left and was like, I don't want to wait any longer. I don't want to be in this waiting energy. I want to live my life. I'm getting this really strange image that might connect with someone of two souls who are in this constant conversation energetically at the soul level in this higher plane. And I feel this feminine saying, somewhere on some plane of existence, you and I masculine are always going to be talking in this ongoing conversation on this higher level. It's funny because from this higher level perspective, it's the real world, it's the 3D world that's actually the distraction, which is so funny because it's the opposite for your physical human self and for your physical mind. It feels like this person's soul is the distraction. I'm just about to cry here. This is so intense. It feels like this person's soul and energy is the distraction from your 3D perspective. But the truth is that to your higher selves who are on this higher plane, ancient soulmates having this ongoing conversation overlaying your physical human experience to the two of you at that higher level, it's your physical lives that are the distraction. I see like two people, it's like they're dreaming together. They are talking together in the 5D and then one of them is like, oh, wait a second, I've got to take a call. But that call is like something happened in their physical life that they now have to attend to. But it's almost this energy of, God, I don't really want to deal with this right now, but I have to. And sometimes that's how the two of you feel on a soul level about the mundane nature, but the real nature of your physical life experience apart from one another. It's like, I need to live my life. I need to do these things. I need to attend to my physical self and my physical needs and my my life for some. I heard family, so there could be family involved here. But on a soul level, you know that it's only you. And I feel that's where this silent, unspoken agreement comes in. Yeah, what a strange energy. It's like from your 3D perspective, you may have come to this reading feeling like this person's spirit is a distraction to you, but from the perspective of your souls joined together on this higher level, it's your physical lives that are the distraction. What a strange, strange energy and a really, really intense energy too. My palms are like sweating right now, so I feel this could be all the energy coming through or this person being nervous. I feel this like nervousness from them about something. I feel that your presence makes this person feel really energetically and emotionally overwhelmed, but not in a negative way. It's just in an intense way, like this person's physical body manifesting the symptoms of this powerful soul bond that you share together. I keep seeing someone who's like, you know, when someone's like shaking their leg or they're like tapping their leg. And um, sometimes when someone has difficulty focusing or is distracted, they might do this, you know, to kind of like get out some of that energy. If you know what I'm saying, I see this person doing that. So that might be something that they do in the physical world that helps you recognize them through this reading, or that might just be a sign of this person feeling anxious and feeling restless about something right now. I know that I crossed the line with you. I can't stop thinking about you. With I know that I crossed the line, I feel like there is this feeling that this person did something in the 3D that is really hard to come back from, whether it's something that they actually did 
But for many, I'm hearing it's what they didn't do. It's consistent lack of consistency. It's in action from this person, what they didn't take action on, what they left unsaid, what they left undone that was really crossing the line here that just made this feminine on the other side of this feel like, okay, that's it. Like I'm done. I also feel this sense of time passing for this feminine. So there could be this feeling of, you know, time is going by. We've been connecting for a long time. I feel myself getting older or I feel time passing and I want to experience my life, but there's this feeling of, I'll see you on the other side. I feel this is kind of morbid. So only take this if it resonates. And I don't mean for this to come through with any kind of a sad energy, but your souls know that regardless of what happens in this one lifetime, when you do cross over or when they cross over, when your souls pass, you know that this is going to be the first person to greet you or one of the first people to just, I see two souls in the spirit realm, just like embracing because I'm hearing we meet where we always do. I'll meet you at that point where we always meet in between lives. Wow. I don't know who that's for. That might just happen to part of your unconscious memories of the eternity that you share with this person, the fact that you always connect in every lifetime and even between lives. And from your soul's perspective, that makes this one lifetime look just kind of like a drop in the bucket, like one lifetime to enjoy, to experience, to interact. But again, on this higher self level, you are just so connected with this person balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. I'm getting water energy from this card. So someone may be a water sign here, but I'm also getting energy that Pisces season may have been when something shifted between the two of you. I'm seeing the month of March for someone, but also because I'm getting a lot of different messages here, I'm getting this energy of with this card, balance, spirituality, and practicality. It's like, I know, I am aware that we share this powerful spiritual connection, but I have to achieve some kind of balance in my life. And I feel that something about this connection felt very unbalanced. It felt like all spiritual and no, no um, material. That's the word I was looking for. Like all emotional and no action is how this connection kind of feels to me. And so I feel that someone chose to try and focus more so on the practical side of their life, which may have involved disconnecting from this person emotionally, energetically, or in some way in the physical world. Wow. Very intense messages. I want to see if I can get any final cards of messages from this person, but also I do want to let you know that in addition to doing these readings, I do create subliminals and subliminals are sound therapy, subconscious mind reprogramming meditation tools. I personally have used subliminals for years to reprogram my own mind, to clear and ground my own energy. And with all of these heavy energies coming through this reading, I do really recommend creating some kind of energy clearing ritual and routine and subliminals may be something that you choose to incorporate into this energy clearing exercise. So I do have a seven chakra clearing subliminal. This is very comprehensive for clearing out negative thoughts and attachments, helping you to feel more grounded, more stable, more clear, and more in tune with your own intuition. This is actually the same subliminal that I personally meditate with every single morning. So I will be leaving a link to this energy clearing in the pinned comments and description box. Also, I do have over 100 other subliminals on my website, soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, I do have subliminals for all areas of life. So things like appearance, mood, mind power, manifestation, love and relationships, and so much more. And you can try out any subliminal I've created 
You can even create your own custom private playlists when you sign up for a free trial account on my website. And again, all of that information is in the pinned comments and description box. But for now, I'm going to channel one final message from this masculine. And I guess three final messages because three cards came through. I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. I absolutely felt this mutual expansion of the soul taking place through this connection. So that makes sense. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? I felt that coming through as well. This person fearing that since it appears that you've moved on with yourself or your life, or they are sensing that they're now concerned. And partially this could be where some of that anxiety, that palm sweating kind of nervous energy is coming from because they're not sure I'm hearing at this point, if you would accept me, there's this feeling of having crossed a line. Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? And I'm feeling these are the questions that are keeping this person awake at night. And because of how they are thinking and feeling so intensely about these questions, they could be keeping you awake at night as well. So I do really hope this reading resonated with whoever needed to hear it. If it did resonate, please be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what connected to you personally. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel because by subscribing, I'm able to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more for you and for your relevant situations in your life. The link to my seven chakra energy clearing subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box.